Hello and welcome to my video on cleaning the bottom drain and purging the system on this pond. So there's the bottom drain we're going to be purging. It's a four inch bottom drain, standard bottom drain for the pond. So let's get on with it. I'm looking drum filter. So as you can see a lot of muck has developed in the bottom of there. It, despite the air stone in the bottom there, it's uh, sort, of, sort of clogged up a little bit. That air stone's usually on but you can't see out in there when it is. So what I want to do is I want to sort of flush out all this area and I want to sort of flush out all the four inch sort of line from the pond. If I go around here you can see underneath the pond. So this is the main four inch line, it goes to this ball valve, so what we're doing is turning this ball valve off, draining the drum as much as I can, and then turning the ball valve back on, and that will cause a surge of water and take all the muck out of this pipe. So this is just one way of purging your bottom drains. The other way is how I do my main pond, which is like this. So these are the purge valves on my main pond. So we'll start with this one with the bucket underneath it. So the bottom of the pond's water line is about at this point just here so these are like just the drains running underneath the pond now I'm fortunate enough to have a basement so I can get the water as soon as it comes out of the pond at the lowest point of the line so basically what I do is I get one of these now the reason I use one of these is because there's a lot of pressure behind that and I found that the plastic candles that these have on them tend to break if you push them a little bit too hard so I always use a, a, a spanner Now I can do that and I can get some disgusting water out and basically all that water there is just everything that has settled in the lowest point and wouldn't really manage to get up this run and that's why I do that. However I still need to purge it every probably once a year as I do the other pond but because I do that I don't need to do it as often. Now why don't I actually purge the other pond like this? Well what happens is how the other pond's plumbed up is basically that ball valve there would be right at the other end of this line, right here. Right, just before it goes into the actual drum filter. Now if I had that little ball valve just here, I'd get a huge amount of water out of just the same. It'd probably even be slightly mucky. But all that water would purge from the filtration, so it just drained the filter. It wouldn't speed up the water in this section of pipe from the pond at all. So, in order to speed the pond up when I'm cleaning this one, I'll just turn off this ball valve and those two there and do the whole same thing again. And then I'll suck all the muck through that's in this part of the line. But that one there basically just clears the bottom of the pond. So that's how I do this one. So let's get back on with the other pond. So what I need to do to get started purging the system is to drop the water of this pond into this drum so that the drum filters water can come into here and fill this up. If I don't take some water out of here the drum filters water will just send this over edge uh, or I'll not be able to appropriately drain the drum filter enough. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this off for automatic so I'm going to take it to start. Now it won't run, but it'll keep the pump running because the pump is operated by that as well. So now I just siphon that into there and get on with that. So there we go, that should be enough water taken out of the pond. As you can see, that's filled up quite a bit. And the pond's water level drops a few inches. And uh, fish are wondering what's happening, but it's still quite lively. Um, so there we go, that's that bit done. Now it's a case of turning the valve off and filling this up again. I accidentally dropped my torch in the bottom which has already stirred up the bottom of it but it kind of gives you a better idea of the muck that's in there. Um, I'll have to find out how to get that out in a bit but it'll do for now. Right, so let's turn off this valve here and drain that tank. Like that. That's taking the water from, stop the water from going into the tank, into the drum, and now it should drain it. See how we get on. As you can see the pond's water level is quite considerably rising, it's back to where it was before, and that's because all the water is coming out of that drum filter. So let's go and have a look at the drum filter again.
Ah, we're getting empty in here. Let's have a look. Yeah, all the media's out. Just a little bit of a trickle going down there. That's good. Right now, I'm going to siphon that water out of there. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to do that off camera because I can't hold the camera and siphon at the same time. And then I'm going to purge it. So there we go, that's that section drained and the pump is out of water. Which we don't want to keep out of water for too long. Now let's open this and see what comes through. You can't see me torch light. You're joking. Wow, look at that. It's literally that mucky you can't see the torch at the bottom of that tank. That's unbelievable. Unless the, tor the torch must have moved. Right, now I need to put the drum filter back on. Get the drum filter running, get that pump back under water. Like so. Let's see the pond's quite full. So that should be getting the drum back under water. This drain is definitely under water. It's not blocked. Now the torch must have moved or something. Let's run the drum again. That is a lot more monk than I expected. Let's put the drum on full. Get it moving. Just to clarify, I did this a fortnight ago. That's how bad it is. That's not quite there yet. Ah, yeah, it's filling up. So as you can see it's a bit cleaner down there, it's actually murked the whole pond up a little bit, stirring it all up. Now I'll just put that air stone back on, like so. I'll have to get that torch out in a minute. And uh, yeah, see what I mean, you can't really see much when that's on. But uh, that's that running well. The, pond, the drum filter's back on automatic, and that's not coming on. That section's back full of water. Looking good. Let's go and have a look at the pond. Oh, actually, this is the drain. Look, so this is this is the drain can't sort of cope with all the water, and uh, as you can see, there's a lot of muck all about come out in it, and uh, I need to sort of sweep up in a bit. So yeah, let's have a look in here. So this pump's still on. It's filling the uh, 
filling the pond back up to where it's supposed to be. And that, we're almost there. Looking pretty good. But if I look through this wind in here, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it's certainly uh, a bit murky than it normally is. And you can see bits floating about and that. But that'll go through a filter and get filtered out shortly. So there we go, that should be a much cleaner pond. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, then please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, then please feel free to subscribe. And if you have any questions, then please don't hesitate to comment them below. And I shall see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.